Today's lesson is on the commercial revolution. You know, the commercial revolution makes me think that we need to begin by defining what a revolution encompasses. You know, we can, throughout history, we've had many kinds of revolutions. Uh, certainly in Western Europe, and we see plenty of evidence of this, be it the Industrial Revolution, um, the Marxist Revolution, the French Revolution, you know, just inside some uh, famous ones. But today we're going to talk about the commercial revolution. And the commercial revolution, of course, occurs during the 17th century. And it leads to some fundamental changes. One is the growth of trade within Western Europe. There's no doubt about that trade increases. Now, trade is proportional to the idea that we have the various imperial powers all competing for further growth. And of course trade equals power because it equals money. And second of all we have capitalism. Capitalism becomes the economic system and remember capitalism is an economic concept which basically advocates that the marketplace owns the principal means of production. During the Commercial Revolution, the Atlantic Ocean was replaced by the Mediterranean Sea as the hub of economic activity. We get the development of mercantilism. Now, mercantilism is an economic theory that drove home the idea that it was important for a nation to acquire overseas colonies if they were going to perpetuate their own survival. This was necessary, scholars. Since the overseas colonies had valuable resources, these valuable resources included gold, silver, and raw materials. Acquiring these resources would lead a country to become more imperialistic. And finally, another major change, an increase in manufactured goods spurred an increase and the demand for these goods by consumers. So what were the effects of the commercial revolution on Europe and the New World? Well, first, we see that power of several European nations and their absolute monarchs begin to increase. Second, trade in overseas empires made some nations, such as England, Spain, and France, wealthy and very powerful. Demographic shifts increased. European culture spread to areas around the world. New production systems known as domestic systems developed within your proper. That's the lesson for today.